hello and welcome. Now today, we have something extra special cooked up for all the motoring enthusiasts out there. Now drivers the world over have always been fascinated and dreamed of being able to drive world-class supercars like the Corvette ZR1 or the Lamborghini Reventon with the instrumentation to match. Now ordinarily, having that automotive instrumentation would require you to purchase the Corvette ZR1 or a Lamborghini Reventon. Until now, this is the NI MyDeck. With this, your car can join the top of the world-class automotive instrumentation arena. Now what we've done here is connected a small accelerometer that will allow a computer in your car to interpret the g-forces on the car and display them to the driver. Now let's see how we've connected this. Now, as you can see, we've connected a small accelerometer and attached it to the top of the MyDeck. This accelerometer requires one small excitation voltage, in this case we fed it 3.6 volts. From that excitation voltage being passed in, the small transducer in the middle of the accelerometer will output a voltage on three different pins. Now this is a three-axis accelerometer, even though we're only using two of the axes. So what these pins do is, depending on the acceleration they experience, they'll output a varying voltage. We can read that varying voltage with the analog inputs on the side of the device here and using a computer, we can scale those to actual g-force values. So what we've done is we've taken an analog voltage output, we're using that as our excitation voltage, we're connecting that here, and we're reading back the two signal voltages on the analog inputs of the MIDAC. Now hopefully the general concept of the wiring on this made sense. If any of it didn't, there's always the accompanying documentation you can refer to when building it. Now obviously, we can't simply test the g-forces on a car by leaving our MIDAC on a table. What we need is a proper motoring enthusiast and a racing driver. Some say he eats bearings for breakfast, and that the only thing he fears more than death itself is small parts falling off of his undercarriage. All we know is he's called the man, the legend, Don Zash!